All right, guys, so I'm going to show you how to use the Flip a Clip app. Uh, you're going to hit the plus to create a new animation. Go ahead and name it. And at this point, I like to pick a background color. Uh, so I just go ahead and choose a regular old background color. I like the one in the bottom there, basic color. This app's great because I set it to 12 frames per second was the default. This app's pretty cool because it's got lots of tools and good stuff and layers. You can see down there, there's a layers panel. Um, if I hit the, the little layers on the right, uh, if I hit the brush I, or the pen tool, I, there's lots of different uh, colors I could choose. I could resize the brush. There are different types of brushes. So it's actually a pretty cool app that I can use uh, to create simple animations. Um, you drag up and down to make the brush bigger or smaller. Uh, since I'm zoomed in a lot, it might be you might think the brush is one size, and then when I start using it, it's a different size because I'm zoomed in pretty far. So I've got to make sure the brush I'm using is the right size. So I'm using a dark green. Going and starting with a really basic fish shape, and you can see there about how small it is. And then I'm going to hit the plus on the frames down at the bottom. And that gives me a second frame. You can see I have frame one and frame two. Now frame two, I'm going to just draw right on top. And later on, I can erase and draw. Um, and it'll always show me uh, an onion skin layer. So here I go making some little changes. And once I feel good about the little changes, I will just hit the plus create another frame, I'm on frame three, and here I go, I'm reshaping this further and further. Uh, started as a fish, and then I will change it into some kind of frog, and then a, an alligator on this one, and then a dragon at the end. So at this point, I'm thinking about how to define the fish, but also how to turn that fish eventually into a frog. Um, how maybe the tail will split and the arms will get longer. There I had uh, hit the plus twice, so I had two of the same frame um, after the frame that I was going to keep that way. So I needed to delete it. That's what that was. Starting to fatten them up, get them ready to become a frog, and moving forward like that. I'm going to keep going like this for a little bit, and I'm going to speed the video up. You can see I'm using the eraser tool to kind of reshape some things, get them ready for the next thing they're going to be. How I'm slowly turning the fins into legs, changing the position of them, letting them grow. Each time I'm hitting that plus and then making some little changes, hit the plus, make some changes. Going to continue developing this, heading towards the alligator now. So I'm thinking about a tail and a pointy head and uh, repositioning the legs a little. I am going to make the body more narrow. Trying my best to kind of um, make little changes. I don't want the changes to be too dramatic as I build this. Uh, maybe some of my changes were too aggressive, but I just want them to be uh, something that I can work with. Here I'm switching back and forth between these two colors, so I'm using the eyedropper tool to select the color. Uh, in this program, you just click the eyedropper when you click the color selection, and then you put that little target on whatever color uh, that you want, and you say OK. So I'm kind of letting this webbing grow in as my final thing. It's going to take me to my 24 pictures. So the last thing I'm going to do is there's three dots in the top right corner. I'm going to click those three dots and click Make Movie. Um, I don't want to 
uh, pay for it. So I cannot remove watermark. Removing the watermark, I have to pay for that, and I don't want to do that. Uh, but I am going to cheat later on. So I'll save it to my photos, and then I'll take, I'll get out of this, and I'll go to my photos, and I'll select the movie that I made. And then I'll go to edit in the top right corner there and I'll hit crop and I'll just crop it down to a square and I don't have to have the watermark on there um, at all. I could just hit play and let it let it transform.